Rising from the ashes of another bitter, broken dream. A dream of pain, misconduct, and the afterlife. The morning's first gasp of Earth's toxic air enters my lungs. Internally I scream. Another day of chaos in my inner universe. I have no reason to smile, laugh, or embrace anything. My beautiful wife and children have passed away. Dead? No. But I am in bereavement in my child heart. Processing this heavy adult subject matter as an emotional child is a bit much. Unholy suffering and incomprehensible heartache got me trembling. I'm going to say that again. Unholy suffering and incomprehensible heartache got me trembling. Since my family has passed away, I haven't been able to eat, sleep, or function on any adult level. This appears to be a debilitating phenomenon. The University of Michigan did a study. They hooked up some students that recently had a breakup in the last six months and hooked them all up to an fMRI machine. In one study, they had them hold a hot cup of coffee uh, to track the brain waves uh, during the pain. Then they asked them to hold a picture of their ex and talk about meaningful memories that they had about their ex. What they found is that the, the brain does not differentiate the difference between physical and extreme emotional pain. Everyone hates me. Everyone wants me to die, as do I. All I ever wanted was to be loved. All I ever wanted was deep friendships. The ability to form bonds with others was ripped away by sadistic pedophiles I experienced as a tiny child. Misunderstood I am. The last two years of my life have been riddled with drugs, booze, violence, whore after whore, and a variety of misconduct. Woe is me. Well, how would you react if your only family died at once?
Sioux City, Iowa. I was born out of a 15-year-old teenage girl here at Marion Health Center Hospital. Little did I know that I'd be spending a lot of time in the same hospital, um, not on the baby floor, but on the behavior unit. I am the joke of the town. I have no friends or family here. The sad thing is, I've become so sensitive, so it breaks my heart to know that no one truly cares about me. There is a bridge that I hang out at. I've been hanging out there for a couple years now. I dream of my suicide there. With my legs dangling over the bridge, I have to grasp onto the bars and stop myself from jumping. I can't jump, that would be awful. I have little children that I really love and care about. And whether I'm in their life right now or not, if I die, my pain will be handed to them at some point in their life. So I gotta fight for dear life through all of this psychological brutalizing trauma. It's very important to me that I stay strong. Cause even the degenerate behavior that I'm doing now, it's just self-directed uh, aggression. I wish nobody harm, nobody at all. I sincerely have so much love in my heart. The work that I have done on myself has allowed me to open up in a way that I could never imagine. The changes that needed to really be changed immediately and deeply, those deeply seated psychological issues in my heart and my mind have changed. I'm not perfect and I am no saint, but I'm certainly not a glum lot either. I will do my best and I will fight for my little children. Off to work, another sad day in the life of me. Um, I'm not sure who I am, but today I know I'm going to be very respectful and polite to everyone I encounter. I seek my own enlightenment for the sake of my little children.